The Codex Gigas, known as the Devil's Bible, is the world's largest illuminated manuscript from medieval times. It is a true behemoth measuring 36 inches across and weighing 165 pounds. The Devil's Bible is made of wooden boards covered in leather with ornate metal guards and fittings. The manuscript contains 310 vellum parchment pages made from the skins of 160 donkeys. The book originally had 320 pages, but the last 10 pages were cut out and removed at some point in history. What those missing pages contained remains a mystery. The Codex Gigas was meant to be a history book. In addition to a complete Vulgate Bible, it contains the historical works The Jewish War and Jewish Antiquities by Flavius Josephus, who lived from the year 37 to the year 100 Common Era. It also contains the encyclopedia written by Saint Isidore of Seville and other popular works from antiquity, including medieval medical treatises and even an instructional guide to exorcism. But the most notable aspect of the Codex Gigas is why the book became known as the Devil's Bible. Portraits of the Devil were common in medieval times, but this one is unusual because the Devil is alone and takes up the entire page. The Devil crouches and faces forward, looking the viewer in the eye. He has red horns and claws and is wearing a loincloth made of ermine, which is traditionally worn by royalty and alludes to the devil's role as the Prince of Darkness. This image is positioned opposite a depiction of the Kingdom of Heaven, illustrating a profound contrast between good and evil. There's an extraordinary legend attached to this manuscript's creation. A monk who was found guilty of breaking his vows was sentenced to be walled up alive. In a bid to escape his fate, he promised to create in a single night a book that would glorify his monastery and contain all human knowledge, no easy task. As midnight approached, he realized what an impossible task he had set for himself and he prayed not to God, but to Lucifer, promising his soul in exchange for the devil's help. As the legend goes, the devil finished the manuscript, and the monk added the devil's portrait out of gratitude. Modern science has lent some weight to the monastic legend, too. Testing has shown that the nature of the writing remains consistent throughout the Codex Gigas, showing no signs of age, disease, or even mood changes as if it was written in one sitting. However, scientists estimate that reproducing only the calligraphy without the illustrations or embellishments would have taken 20 years of non-stop writing. Despite the many myths and legends surrounding the Devil's Bible, it is unknown who wrote it, but scholars believe it was the creation of a single person, most likely a monk living in Bohemia, today a part of the Czech Republic. This colossal manuscript with its historical, medical, and religious texts and legendary backstory was eventually moved from the Brumov Monastery to the Imperial Library of King Rudolf II in Prague. The king told the monks he would return it after reading it, but he never gave it back. Later, it was taken as part of the spoils of war by the Swedish army during the Thirty Years' War in 1648. It now sits in the National Library of Sweden in Stockholm, where it's available for public viewing. Thank you for joining us for another strange and obscure story. Remember to like this video if you're as intrigued by the Devil's Bible as we are. Do you believe the legends? Let's continue the conversation in the comments.